Hey friends, let's cook dinner together. How is that? Um, I'm going to make the new taste buds recipe. I just came on live the other day and showed that and I decided I've been waiting for this one and I am super excited about this one. So we're gonna make green goddess chicken pita, one of the July taste buds recipes, okay? So let me know, yay or nay, if you would make this for yourself or your family. Sometimes we would make it for ourselves, but not for our family because our family's picky. So would you eat this? Yes or no? Put it below. And then as always, comment live. If you're watching live, comment replay if you're watching the replay. And let's make this recipe together because I'm cooking anyway, so you guys can keep me entertained. How's that? Sound good? Sound good? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's a super uh, simple recipe so far. I think I looked at everything. So we're gonna go ahead and make this together. We're gonna to use the deluxe grill and griddle. We're gonna get that preheated and then grill our chicken. It kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of like a um, tzatziki pita chicken gyros, stuff like that, right? Kind of like a Greek food. So, hey, 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 yes, let me know if you would cook this. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the deluxe grill and griddle and get that heated up. So, which is perfect for grilling chicken. It's easy, you don't have to sit there and spin it around. These just came out of the dishwasher because I just used this for chicken yesterday. We do eat a lot of chicken. So all you do is slide those grill plates in and they come with the grill or the grill inserts and then you can upgrade and also get the waffle plates inserts as well, okay? So you just snap them on just like that. You turn the back on, where is it? Right here, and then I'm just gonna click grill and let it do its thing and let this preheat, okay? I wish I could bring this a little closer, but this is what I have to play with. So, so let that grill and griddle preheat and we're gonna get our chicken ready and marinated, okay? So I already sliced my chicken. I use the close and cut. You guys know, you see me use this all the time, right? The close and cut to slice the chicken evenly and thinly. Um, it is cheaper that way per pound rather than buying the pre-sliced thinly sliced chicken at the grocery store. It helps cook your chicken more evenly and it kind of stretches your budget a little bit, okay? Nobody needs to eat some of those massive chicken breasts. So all we're gonna do is, it's about a pound and a half of chicken and we're gonna make a little marinade, okay? And we're gonna need a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. So this is a Greek green goddess chicken pita. The only time I've ever had green goddess anything is um, at the melting pot. So I think it was like a butter or something, right? Any or dip, anybody remember? Anybody been to a melting pot, right? So anyway, so we're gonna use our handy dandy measure all cup right here and we're gonna measure a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, which it's not a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot, um, but you can also marinate this ahead of time. It does say for better flavor to marinate it and put it in your fridge, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're doing this as we go. So we are going to push out a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, and then we are going to add some Green Goddess seasoning. So this seasoning is not available for everyone right now. It is only a taste bud subscriber perk. It smells good. You should smell it before I even open it. Um, so if you're not a taste bud subscriber yet, it's a sign, you know, might want to be one. Okay, so we need uh, two tablespoons, handy dandy measuring spoons. You guys know this, right? Adjust up and down. Hello, hello, what's for dinner at your house? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, put it below. It is Tuesday. What are we eating on this Tuesday? Tacos, Happy Tuesday? Not here. All right, so you can see it is really green. And it is really, I can smell it. Um, but I love me a good seasoning because if there's one thing I do not like, is bland chicken. And I'm gonna, you know what, I don't know, maybe this has salt, maybe I shouldn't put salt in it. Uh, Oh, it does have salt. Okay, so I will omit the salt until I taste it. <laughs> Anybody else like to put salt on everything? Okay, so we are going to blend this up and mix this up, and this is your marinade. This would be great for a barbecue, I think. I can already tell I am going to like this because I like me a good chicken that's coated in seasonings. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I got tongues and the spoon. I'm not sure why. Oh, I can probably just use the tongues here. So these I love, these are little tongs, um, saute tongs. So they actually, I'm not gonna flip it right now because I don't want all the juices, but they store super flat in your cupboard. They're almost like little chopsticks. So they help you 
maneuver everything super easy. All right, so look at that. It looks not very appetizing. <laughs> I mean, it's green, but it looks like a little muddy, but you know what I mean? But yeah, it'll be good. I was gonna say, look, it looks amazing. <laughs> but it is still raw chicken until we grill it. So, all right, so we are going to grill this up as soon as our grill tells us we're ready. So the cool thing about the deluxe grilling griddle, um, it also has a probe, like a probe that plugs in. If you need it, you can put the probe in and into your raw chicken and then let it beep when it's done. Um, I pretty much know that five minutes on both sides at 400, which is the setting that it like auto sets to, my chicken is done. Then I'm gonna let it rest for three minutes and my chicken is done. And because it gets the grill from both sides, I don't have to sit here and like look at it and move it around. I just put it in there, set it and forget it, and we're done. Okay, so while we wait for that, um, let me see, yeah, yeah, cooking tonight, all right, hello, hello, thanks for popping in. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below, but we're just hanging out and making dinner, and that's why I love taste buds, because it kind of takes the guesswork out of dinner sometimes. I tend to cook the same thing over and over, <laughs> so I like to spice things up, and actually, honestly, honest to God, okay, like, it's like one of the reasons I do pamper chop, because when I moved here, when I moved to the U.S., for those that don't know, I was born and raised in Germany. I only knew like German Italian recipes. So doing pampered chef recipes helped me adventure into the American land <laughs> uh, or Mexican land too, right? There's some Mexican uh, recipes pampered chef has. So it helped me to kind of venture and learn American recipes. So, um, which is great because I didn't know how to make them. And I mean, I still don't know how to make some of them, but we're getting there, right? So that's kind of what I love about pampered chef recipes. They're really simple, easy to do and stuff like that. Okay. Apparently we need a green goddess dressing while we wait for this. So let's make that and we're going to use our, I'm, I don't think I've ever shown this. I don't know if I ever have. <laughs> and you know why? Because I'm Italian. I just do balsamic, olive oil, salt, a little bit of oregano. That's my dressing. So we're actually going to make a green goddess dressing in our salad dressing bottle maker thing. Um, it has some recipes for salad dressings on here, but we are going to make this one. But our grill just beeped, it says add, so that means it's ready to go. So let me come over here and throw that in there. And guys, I need to come back one of these days and show you how to make the best panini in here. Would you guys like that? Would you like to learn how to make the best panini? And panini just means sandwich. Like panini, panino, un panino, due panini, just means sandwich in Italian. Um, but I know it means here it's like that grilled panini, right? Okay, so we are going to put this in here. And remember, all we did was put Greek yogurt and the Green Goddess seasoning in here. push it and now it's going to count down for five minutes so that way I can do the rest right pretty cool let it do its thing um, you can even cook outside with this if you wanted to right um, I actually have a friend right now her kitchen is under construction but she has all the paper jug power tools so I'm like you're good then you got you're settled you can literally don't even need a kitchen if you have the deluxe multi-cooker the grill and griddle the air fry and the blender you really don't even need any of this right all right let's make this we need a quarter cup of olive oil and it does have measuring marks so you have to go get another measuring spoon thing so we need a quarter cup of olive oil okay that's about right a quarter cup of olive oil more green goddess seasoning i will gladly take that so two tablespoons of this and if you didn't see my live a couple days ago, I unboxed Taste Buds. So Taste Buds is a monthly subscription from Pamper Chef, delivered right to your doors. Get some spices, some seasonings, and new recipes. And you get access to our Taste Buds Hub. So once a month, you can stock up on some items or add some products and get free shipping as well. Okay, so we got that. Uh, one teaspoon of honey. Honey, honey, honey. Okay. One teaspoon of honey. We're going to use our measuring spoons for that as well. One teaspoon? Yes. I 
guess we need a little bit of sweetness. Weep. Get that in there. And one and a half tablespoon of white wine vinegar. White wine vinegar, one and a half tablespoons. And that is our dressing for our pitas. If you don't want to do pitas, right, you could do a salad. Um, you could put it in there all separate, it doesn't really matter. But I think this is a fun summer recipe. Okay, that's our dressing. So now we shake it so this is, this is locked, right? And then if you press it back, it's open to you can pour. But other than that, we can shake it. And we made our dressing super easy. And if this is really good, I might make a lot of this so it's in my fridge, ready to go for my salad. Easy peasy, made our dressing in here. Dressing done, another thing done. Okay, um, we are going to heat up the pitas in here. Once this is done grilling, I have the pitas all ready to go. We'll take that chicken down and grill that. And then basically, um, the way this look is going to look like, but I'll show you one more fun tool, okay? The way this looks like is you take your pita, put your dressing on here, your chicken, some lettuce, some tomatoes, got some feta cheese, right? And a couple of red onions if you like them, right? And you can wrap it up or you can make a lot more chicken and have some the next day for lunch, right? Um, wouldn't that be awesome? But I want to show you one more quick tool. Oh, and I got some olives too. Anybody love? Okay. Do you love olives or hate olives? Which one are you? I love me a good olive. <laughs> the more bitter and, and, you know, like tangier it is, the better. But I know that's not everyone. Okay, I'll show you um, one last tool, which is our spiralizer, because I'm going to spiralize this onion so I get it nice and thinly for my pita, because I will be the only one that will put that on there, right? So you just put your onion in here, and we are going to spiralize. Check this out, it's one of my favorite things to do, to spiralize an onion, but of course you could use zucchini, I like to do peppers in here, cucumbers, butternut squash, apples, all kinds of things, okay? So check this out, check this out, check this out. Look at that, look at these onions. Do you see them, can you see them? Yes, do we, do we see it? Okay, um, and I'm probably gonna turn on the water because it's gonna start making me cry in a second. Spiralizer. Woo! Says onion. Live in action. Okay, our chicken is almost done. It's got a couple more minutes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you're watching live, comment live, guys. Let me know who's on. If you're catching the replay, comment replay. Oh, this onion needs to go really close to this water. You know what? We used to sell, well, before my time. Here's what Chef used to sell onion goggles. They were like these big things, and I'm like, I always say we should bring them back, because I would totally wear them, just to not cry and have burny eyes. Whew. Okay, let's get our chicken out. Uh -uh. Let's get this chicken out. Look at them grill marks. Do you see that? Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. And this chicken is done and now we're just going to let it rest for a couple minutes let me see if i can show you these grill marks you guys see it five minutes and you don't have nasty dry chicken if you prep it right and you know how to cook it now look it's falling apart it's so tender we're going to let it rest for a couple minutes see that do we like it super easy eating healthy doesn't have to be complicated either. This is actually a pretty healthy dish. You can skip the pita if you want, um, you know. But now we're going to, um, I'm gonna still click grill one more time, or panini, it doesn't really matter. Panini's fine. Two minutes, and I'm going to throw my pita bread in here, right? Throw it in there and get that all nice and grilled. It's still hot, so it's all good. Let it kind of warm up, okay? And then we're going to assemble. Let me make sure I follow it off all the directions here. So if you don't have a grill, it says you can obviously make it in the oven, right? Um, to assemble, fill each pita with sliced chicken, a piece of romaine, cucumber, red onion, tomatoes, feta, and olives. 
drizzle with dressing. We could do that, right? Um, I have some cucumbers here. Uh, you guys see me use this all day, every day, right? The cool and surf tray. So I'm just going to grab some of these cucumbers from here. Uh, maybe chop them up a little bit smaller. And get those all cut up. Do we have a dirty knife already? No, no let's use a little, little paring knife. So what would you top this with? Would you do all the toppings? Feta, tomatoes, olives? Or would you just pick a few? Which ones would you pick? Let me know below. And we will assemble one of them. Or maybe not, because the chicken needs to rest for a few minutes. So here's a little tip for chicken. If you cut it too early, what happens if you don't let your chicken rest or any meats like steaks, right? If you cut it too early, all the juices, all that moisture falls right out of your plate. But if you wait a little bit and let your chicken just kind of rest, all those juices remain in the chicken. Let it a few minutes of rest, the letting the juices flow through the meat, and then you have juicy meat and juicy chicken. Okay? Alright, so we got our onions. We got our um, cucumber, and then we're gonna cut some of these grape tomatoes here. I'm gonna cut them in some thin slices, and I'm actually gonna use, I love this color-coded tomato knife, okay? Silly, but simple. I'm gonna cut some tomatoes and have those ready to go, and then I'm gonna just put this whole thing on the dinner table, and everybody can make their own, because if I make it, that one person's gonna be like, I don't want the onion. The other child's gonna be like, I don't like tomatoes. So I love recipes like this because at the end of the day, you know what some of them I might eat? Just chicken and cucumbers and bread. <laughs> and that's okay, right? Um, so even though maybe you might have picky eaters, I'm pretty good at disassembling a recipe so everybody can find something that they like. And that's what I love about Taste Buds. They're, um, they're a little different. Sometimes Taste Buds recipes can be a little bit like enhanced or a little um, extra, you know, so, but it's cool because you get to try different things. Like I would normally never try something like that. Um, Greek yogurt on my chicken, I've never done that, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Probably nice and moist, you know what I mean? So, um, okay, so that's it. We're gonna assemble our pitas. They're getting grilled up. Look at that, they're nice and warm. We're gonna keep doing that with the others. And dinner is done. It's nice and warm now. I'm gonna assemble these and we are good to go. So, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so if you would make this recipe, comment, I would make this recipe. Drop a heart below, hopefully you learned something. And if you wanna try Taste Buds for a month, it's only $20, $20 I think, a month, $22 a month. Comment Taste Buds and you can give it a try. Um, for a month as well. So thanks for popping in. I appreciate you guys. You can hear the sizzle. Yeah, I need to get that dressing jar. Well, Kathy, I can help you with that. Uh, and remember, everything you see, you can just hit the link tree in my bio and just shop away or you can message me and you can earn it for free or half price by hosting a virtual party on our own table platform. We have our own virtual party platform. Or if you are local, if you're local, I can come to your house and we can cook together and you invite your friends. All right, guys, so thanks for popping in. I would appre I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment, leave some hearts, and have a great Tuesday. And I'm sure I'll see you soon. All right, ciao for now.